Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. My name is Paul Dansback. Today, we are in a multi-story office building. We are going to look at some of the construction features that should be of concern to firefighters. We are going to look at two potential paths of vertical fire extension in this building. The first potential path for vertical fire extension is in the exterior wall. The exterior walls of this building are called curtain walls. Curtain walls are not supported on the floor slabs. In fact, in this type of construction, the curtain wall actually passes in front of the floor slab and it allows for an unfire stop space to be formed by the curtain wall when it passes in front of the floor slab. There are different types and means of attaching the curtain wall feature to the exterior of the building. We're going to look above and, and what you see are bands of windows which are pretty typical in an office type building. Above the windows is the curtain wall. We're going to look up at the curtain wall and what we see is a heavy gauge steel stud. That heavy gauge steel stud is the framework for the curtain wall construction. Attached to the heavy gauge steel stud to form the exterior skin of the building is a drywall type material with a cementitious exterior finish. This curtain wall, as we can see, is attached back to the structure to the floor slab to provide stability to the curtain wall construction. The space created, as we look up above, we can see the underside of the floor deck above ends and there is a space of about eight inches that would be a vertical channel for fire to extend from floor to floor. As we look up above, you will notice that there is a fibrous fire stopping material that has been placed in the wall cavity between the exterior skin of the building and the floor slab. That is the fire stopping material. Another way to help us understand the vertical void space created by the curtain wall is let's take a look at our tool. I've got my hand on the tool and the tip of the tool is on the floor slab. I'm going to insert the tool behind the drywall and you'll notice that that wall cavity and my hand extend further down into the wall cavity. Further proof that the floor slab is not there and a potential void space exists. If that void space is not properly fire stopped, there will be fire extension from the floor below into the curtain wall, back into the space, the habitable space of the floor above. Another potential path for vertical fire extension in a multi-story building is runs such as the electric runs. The electric services run vertically through the building. We are in an electric closet or an electric room. The electric rooms are stacked vertically through the building, floor to floor. If we look down at the floor of this electric room, we will see that the penetrations are properly fire stopped. If these penetrations were not properly fire stopped, any fire in the floor or floors below will be permitted to travel and extend vertically through the unfire stopped openings in the floor. We're going to look up, and as we look up, we can see the penetrations through the floor slab above. If these penetrations are not properly fire stopped, and the material that you see stuffed between the conduit and the floor slab is a fibrous fire stopping material. There should be a similar condition on the floor above as was on the floor here. Again, if the utility penetrations are properly fire stopped, there should not be a great potential for vertical fire extension. In the event the penetrations are not properly fire stopped, there will be vertical fire extension floor to floor. We're going to go down and look at the building's fire alarm panel so we can understand how looking at the fire alarm panel might help us determine if there is fire extension vertically floor to floor through the electric closet. When responding to a multi-story building, use the building's fire alarm system as a size up point. Determine how many alarms are present. Determine the location of those alarms. If there is more than one electric closet in alarm, for instance, you have electric closets in alarm on five, six, seven, and eight. That is a strong indication that fire is running vertically through the electric closets. Begin your search on the lowest level in alarm. In that case, it would be the fifth floor. Examination of the fifth floor will give you an indication of what might be ahead of you on the floors above. 
Thank you for watching this session of Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.